Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about ticker symbol EYES and there's some big news, big catalyst just happened and we have seen that reflected in the stock price, something major. We also see it trending on stock twits. We also see it in the hot and trending topics on a lot of Reddit sub forums for OTC and penny stocks. So let's look at it. Let's look at what this news is. Let's look at what the news is hinging on, the catalyst is hinging on, and bring it into the broader context of the business, the company, and the industry and the landscape of medical devices, just so you can contextualize it and make you a better investor. Also, before we do, I'm not licensed in anything but real estate, so do not listen to me. This is just all for information and fun purposes only. And let's get into it. Oh, also make sure to like and subscribe. We have an affiliate link for Webull. You probably already have a significant stock portfolio with Robinhood or Webull already, but if you don't, go ahead, Webull, deposit 100 bucks, and then you will get two free stocks. Bam, it's magic. Okay, right now we are trading at $10 a share, which is 73% increase, and that's just insane. So look at this five-day chart. We're at a dollar and forty-five cents uh, as of just March fourth, and now, of course, we had a, a little bit of a uh, dip in entire Nasdaq uh, dip anyway. But we're back up, and it's the stock is just really thriving. And you might ask, why? Why is the stock thriving so much to go from one dollar and forty-five cents to ten dollars, and actually tra trading at a high of twelve in the last five days? That's just insane. Okay, it's a nine dollars. Oh, time to sell. No, I'm just kidding. So that is coming from news of an improved FDA Argus to retinal prosthesis system. And let's look at that. I'm gonna show you what it is, show you how it works and why it works and why it's so exciting. Okay, honestly, when you're looking this up, don't hit Google Images because it's just it's too much for me. So the device is an answer to the problem of the pigmentosis a retinitis pigmentosis, and it's a rare inherited degenerative eye disease that causes severe vision impairments. So symptoms often being in childhood, which is super sad, they include a decreased vision at night or in low light and loss of side vision, tunnel vision. While there's no cure for this, medications can help the disease. So let's look at the exact universe of the problem that we are treating. And that's fewer than 200,000 cases per year. And when you see such a uh, I'm going to say unique disease for for uh, lack of a better term. It gets really, really interesting because sometimes it's not a large enough universe for people to want to make significant advancements in it or to want to address it. Then you have these small companies that come out and try really, really hard to uh, address it because it's worth it to them. But you see some of the larger medical device companies might maybe going after, you know, something in the heart disease type uh, thing or diabetes or like we've seen in other due diligence videos. Uh, I think it's very interesting that they are a small enough company to really work on something that has a small problem subset and they can be the they can be the dominant player in this space. So that is the problem that we are addressing and I won't <laughs> I won't I'll save you the trouble of looking at the images because I have done it. So what did the device do? It's a medical device that is surgically implanted into only one eye and, del and delivers electrical stimulation to the retina. I don't know why I'm having such a problem speaking today. It is intended to produce a useful form of artificial vision to blind people with severe to profound RP. And that's what we're going to call it from now on out in this video by stimulating remaining viable retinal cells to induce visual perception. Isn't that cool? So that's great. So it's enhancing the loss of vision for these people with RP that formerly did not have a, uh, a cure or a treatment for this. It works by converting images captured by a miniature video camera mounted on glasses into a series of small pulses of energy which are transmitted wirelessly to an array of electrodes implanted on the surface of the retina. So you see when this is something that is so detailed and so specific, you will see a lot of patents and a lot of IP, intellectual property, around this. And it gives them the ability to, to have patents around this um, and also to have you know a suite of, of IP. It doesn't actually restore the vision, but it does give them kind of like a, a system of vision, I guess. Uh, they, they say a little better here. Artificial vision. Identify paved walkways, detect sidewalk ends, just really, really cool stuff. And this is, so this system that we just spoke about and what it addresses just got FDA approval. Now let's look at FDA approval and what that actually means. 
I know this might seem basic, but I don't want to take uh, for granted that anyone knows anything. So we're just going to go um, with de defining all terms possible, you know? So the FDA splits up medical devices into three different categories, class one, class two, class three. And each of those classes is a demarcation about the risk involved with the procedure or the device itself. Requirements for medical devices. It says that registering medical device company and its class is a requirement to market and sell those products in the United States. So now that it's gotten FDA approval, it's massive because that means, hey, I can sell this to all these hospitals, surgeons, doctor's offices, etc., in the United States, which is massive, which is why you see such a spike in this. The second site company notes that the Argus 2, which is the one that we've been talking about, is a redesign of a previous version of the external hardware used alongside its Argus 2 implant. And the, the hardware is a pair of glasses and a camera that helps provide vision to people suffering from RP. We've already talked about that. But what's interesting here and what is something of note, the company hopes to use it in the next generation of the Orion Visual Cortical Prothesis System. It's a new treatment. And, you know, they already have integration strategies for uh, this new device. Okay, a couple more things. There could be another Catalyst event on March 18th. They said they're set to release uh, results Thursday, March 18th. I'm assuming that is um, earnings reports and results from that. The system costs about $150,000, and that is something that's going to be billed to insurance companies, I'm sure, and under people's insurance. Um, so that is something that, you know, when you're looking at sales and stuff like that of this company, that is how much something like this will cost. Right now on their careers page, they don't have any open positions. What you'd like to see is a scale up of the sales team too at this time, or at least what I would like to see is a scale up of the sales team. However, that would be if this was like a brand new technology that they've never had before or whatever. This is just another thing to go on to a previous bit of technology that they've had. So it just kind of enhances things and works in tandem with something else. So they might have definitely already built out their sales team to a point where they find it sufficient to take on this new catalyst. But you do definitely want to make sure and check for the sales team because in medical devices it comes heavily into uh, sales team territory look at this device pretty cool looking i love the sunglasses and this is the stories and some personal testimonies from all this we like to see this too because it just shows that they are savvy and keen on marketing which is always nice to uh, nice to see i do want to show you all the uh quote unquote sick executive team that they have they really are robust in their knowledge and also kind of on some peripheral things that are really important in medical devices like engineering and uh, back in finance and tech which is really really interesting so this is the acting ceo right here um, matthew pfeffer and he served on multiple boards and he was the senior vice president of finance and administration of VaxGen with the responsibility of finance, tax, treasury, human resources. So he's kind of a well-rounded, fully developed CEO. This is the chief uh, science officer, I believe. And she leads, an F she leads an effort to understand and improve the artificial vision created by the Orion and Argus 2 systems, which is just really cool. Uh, Edward Randolph served as the vice president of manufacturing in the company from 2007 to 2016. So they like promoting within, which makes sense. You'd have to kind of promote within when you have such a highly technical system and highly technical product and company. You know, it would be, it, you can bring other people in, but there's, I'm sure there's quite the ramp up and scale up when it comes to training them about how, what, you know, where this company fits into the broad, larger market space. And there's usually around 14 million shares exchanged just to get back to actually the stock performance but it's been sharing uh, it's been exchanging 158 million shares so a lot of people obviously are really really into this stock due to this fda approval and i think knowing that they have the capacity to get fda approval really just bodes well for them getting fda approval in the future right They've already gone through the process. They know what it takes. They know what to expect. They know how much money it will cost. 
blah, 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 blah. So I think it really kind of bodes well for longevity and for other future devices that this company might come up with. It There's a long way to go since this is artificial sight. There is nothing but enhancements that they can do, right? It can just get better and better and better. So there's really no cap on this. It has solved a problem and, or helped solve a problem, but it hasn't made the problem go away yet. And that's something that, you know, really bodes well for us as investors looking at this future growth. There's still a long way to go, but they are uh, quote unquote crushing it right now. Let me know what other stocks, OTC, penny stocks, other otherwise that you are looking at and that gets you excited so I can maybe cover that. Thank you so much for all the people that have already dropped comments. I am fully researching and doing due diligence videos on pretty much everything I can and really trying to pump them out. And also cheers to all the people making fun of me for sniffling because they think I had a drug problem and I think it's very very kind that you think that I make enough money in house flipping to have a drug problem. I don't. <laughs> Maybe one day, but today's not that day. <laughs>